Thousands of pilgrims have gathered at church services across the country to celebrate the centenary of Sister Mary McKillop's death. While the Pope is yet to make a final decision on her canonisation, church leaders are hopeful an announcement could be made as early as next year. A show of faith. 100 years on, supporters of Mary McKillop returned to the Sydney church where her funeral was held. For these Catholics, it's a celebration of her feast day, marking her birth into heaven. It was invitation only at the church, and about a thousand people shared in the mass at a sporting oval across the road. In Adelaide, hundreds attended a service in St Saviour's Cathedral. It was in South Australia's southeast where Mary McKillop founded the Sisters of St Joseph's and her first school. She devoted her life to the care and education of the poor and needy until her death at age 67. She had a great sense of her belonging to God, a great sense of prayer and a great sense of God will lead me. She's best known as Mary, Mother of the Cross. And supporters say she had many of her own crosses to bear, including a battle with ill health for most of her life. Despite her devotion, she was excommunicated for standing up to church leaders, only to be embraced again by the church soon after. She remained totally loyal to uh, the church leaders, even when they treated her disgracefully. In 1995, she was beatified by Pope John Paul II at a ceremony in Sydney the first stage of becoming a saint. While thousands of people have claimed to have been cured by Mary McKillop, her second recognised miracle has now been accepted by theologians in Rome. There's just one final step before the Pope can proclaim her a saint. Bishops and cardinals of the Congregation for Saints will examine all the material to date. That's when Pope Benedict XVI can then make the final decision on her canonisation. Mary McKillop's supporters hope their prayers will be answered early next year. Louise Negline, ABC News, Sydney.